guys, it's Christine Williamson here with Dakota Allen, Texas Tech senior linebacker. Uh, I need you to tell me one fun fact about you to start this thing off. Um, not too fun, but uh, I'll say if I had one fun fact, I can freestyle a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit. A little bit. Uh -huh. What does that mean? Like, a little bit like you're good at it? Like, I can put some rhymes together. Okay, so can we have like, what is it, like 16 bars? No, let's, what is it, like four bars? I don't know how the numbers work. You want some bars. I want like a bar. She wants some bars. <laughs> I want one bar or okay. one like thing, you know? Okay. There's no beat though. Okay. You can just do it like. Acapella? Yeah, okay. do a acapella. Here representing Texas Tech Red Raiders. Also I see Texas and Baylor just sitting here in Dallas sitting on the turf. I'm not from Cali, but I, I like to surf. Okay. Yeah, just, <laughs> I don't want to give y'all all my bars or nothing like that. <laughs> Future rapper, Dakota Allen. <laughs> He's going to be a rapper soon. What would your rap name be? Uh, I'd say, Coda, just K-O-D-A. Okay, Coda. Mm-hmm. Who would you feature on your first mixtape? Drake. Really? really? Okay, good, because I have a Drake question coming for you. But okay. we'll wait for that. Okay. First, we have some would you rather questions. Really tough stuff. Um, I like <laughs> to ask people would you rather questions because I feel like it tells you a lot about them, you know? Mm -hmm. Especially when they're like weird, which is what we got. All right. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> would you rather, now this is important for you as a football player, be without elbows or without knees? So just straight arms I'd rather... or straight legs? I'd rather be without elbows. Yeah. I got to use these things to run. To run. Yeah. It would be very inefficient if your legs were straight, mm, right? Very. Okay. You're right. You're right. Uh, would you rather, this is, um, first of all, I just want to preface this with everybody farts, okay? So it's not like a new thing that people pass gas. Uh, would you rather, and everybody poops too, just putting that out there. Would you rather fart really loud or poop your pants silently? I'd rather fart really loud. I do that a lot anyways. All right. Like around your teammates, around just everybody? Just anybody. My, my grandfather always said, better out than in. So. That's true, because holding it in is a problem sometimes for you. It is. And you just have to sit there and you suffer have, mm, have silently. Have bubble gut. Yeah. Mm -mm, better yeah. out than in. Yeah. So would if you had to fart right now, would you fart? I would. Really? Would just you tell silently. me? Just but would silently. you tell me? Because that's a chance that it smells. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you. That's rude. I'd probably see, just that's wait rude. till you smell it. <laughs> <laughs> but see, most people when they smell a fart, they're not like, I smell a fart. They're not going to tell you because they be don't like, know if they, if it's them. It, well, no, they know that they didn't fart, but they don't know who around them farted. So they're not going to mention it. They're just going to be like, dang, I think he farted. So you would have to tell somebody that you farted in order to be polite. Hmm. I like to just not tell them and then if they say did someone fart i'd be like guilty okay i guess that's okay i'm the type of person i'd be like did somebody fart because i don't like smelling them yeah. i like to know what i'm I getting understand. myself into i don't want to open my mouth you know it's mm -hmm. kind of gross <laughs> uh would you rather be a clown who distracts the bull or the cowboy the cowboy who rides the bull uh i'd rather be the cowboy i've always had a, uh, you know dreams of, of, of riding bulls. Really? I, I think, I actually think I could be really good. You could be a bull rider. I think I could. Mm -hmm. Really? But that's really dangerous. I feel, I, I mean, I know you play a pretty, you know, tough, rough sport, but I feel like that's got you beat it a might. little bit. I just watched that uh, movie with Matthew McConaughey. It's called Dallas, you know, Dallas something. I don't know, he was riding bulls. <laughs> it just made me want to ride bulls Okay, that. so that's why you want to do it. Mm -hmm. So after you're done with football, you think you're going to probably ride some bulls? Uh, I'm going to start on the mechanical ones first, yeah. but then hopefully we can I mean, you can, can go do upgrade. that right now. Yeah. You know? No, I got to be healthy for the season. That's true, that's true. You're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Would you rather have to go to the bathroom in a giant litter box in your house or use the bathroom anywhere you want, but only outside? Use the bathroom anywhere I want, but only outside. Okay. I've done that before. So you don't like giant, I mean, you can clean the litter boxes just in your house. You just gotta use it in the litter box. That's kind of weird. That is weird. I feel like a cat then. Yeah, and you're a human, so you'd rather just use it outside. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Would you rather have 500 tarantulas crawling in your house or 1,000 crickets jumping around your room? Uh, 500 what? Uh, tarantulas, like the oh, spiders. No. no, crickets. Really? Crickets. See, the thing about crickets that is not okay with me is they don't jump like normal. <laughs> so like they'll jump and you might think you know where they're going, mm -hmm. but actually they're going some other direction. So technically that's, I mean, that's pretty scary in my and opinion. And they'll be everywhere. Exactly. But they could I'm, land on you. Mm -hmm. But at least if, when they land on you, you know they're not gonna bite you. Do tarantulas bite? I, I just asked somebody, that. do they bite? I don't know. They look like they bite. They look dangerous. They look very dangerous. Okay. They look like they kill. They probably do, honestly. Yeah, so I Have you no. seen that photo of like that huge spider? I don't know if it's real or not, in like a desert. And it's like the size of a human. No. Oh, are you into spiders? I'm not into so spiders. Really I wouldn't want to see that. Oh, okay, yeah. so we won't, we won't show you that. <laughs> um, okay, so I do have some, some questions about uh, Drake. Okay. Let's first do Drake or Kanye. Drake. Obviously. So how do you feel about Drake's Scorpion? Uh. 25 I can, songs. I can play it all the way through and not you, skip a song. Do you know every single song so far? I would say I know a good 80%. Okay. How do you feel about the Drake Pusha T beef? Um, I just feel like, I just feel like it's a, it's a good move for really both of them. Pusha T, he, he's mm -hmm. an older guy. He's really been out of the game. He's just trying to be relevant again. Yeah. And I mean, Drake sold how many uh, c uh, copies of his album? That's so true. It really benefited them both. It benefited them both. I feel like that's why Pusha T did it, because he would have not been relevant if he hadn't done that. Nobody would have, I honestly wouldn't have cared. <laughs> I agree. You definitely wouldn't have cared. No. -uh. All you hear about is Drake. I mean, I, I do like Pusha T. Yeah. I've, I've listened to his old stuff when he was yeah. with Clips and you yeah. know, with his Grinding. brothers. So, oh, yeah. That so, was like the jam. I just feel like, you know, can't nobody touch Drake right now. Uh, so, do you think that? Okay, you said can't nobody touch Drake. Do you think that Pusha T like beat Drake? Because that's what a lot of people think. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think Drake did just didn't even want to give him the time of yeah. day. He yeah. feels like he's irrelevant, which in he some ways he, he kind of is. So how was Drake able to turn around an album with like three songs referencing the Pusha T beef in Scorpion, but like it was like a week? How was he able to do that? That's crazy, right? That is crazy. Um, he, I don't know. You should know since you're a yeah, freestyler. I I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you are sounds, a rapper, Coda. I mean, if I had Drake's number, I'd call him and ask him myself. <laughs> First feature, <laughs> yeah. Drizzy. Um, okay, let's talk about the fact that this is your senior season. It's your final season. Do you have any memories um, throughout your throughout your career at Texas Tech that um, will stick with you throughout your life? Um, I. I would say last year's Texas win. Um, that was a big win for us. And uh, we had a lot of fun uh, after that win. And um, I would definitely have to say that that would be most memorable. Hopefully this year will be more uh, memorable games. More dubs, games. Yes, more dubs. Yeah. And of course, you want your team to, to remember you as uh, a good locker room freestyler, but anything else that you wanna, that you wanna leave behind? <laughs> um, I just wanna leave behind uh, my story to the, to the younger guys, um, you know, everything you do has a consequence. Um, if you do so happen to um, get in some trouble uh, and you are given a second chance, just, just make the most out of it. That's so real. Well, thank you well, thank so much you. for sitting down with me. Thank you for freestyling. Oh. Next time, I'll spit some rhymes. How about okay. that? Okay, that sounds sound good. good. Yeah, right. We should we'll, have Drake here, too. <laughs> we'll, we'll invite Drake. You, me, and Drake, we'll, we'll, freestyle. we'll just freestyle. Sounds we'll, good. We'll triangle freestyle. <laughs>